In this video, we continue with the basic overview of the user interface found in Song Surgeon version 3 for Mac. Let's begin here over on the left. You will notice these two identical speaker icons. One is a left and one is a right. These are simply toggle buttons so you can toggle the channels on and off. So we continue down here toward the bottom, you'll see this little PT toggle switch and P stands for performance and T stands for transcribe and these are simply two different algorithms that are used within Song Surgeon and you can select either one of them. Uh, basically speaking, performance trans the performance algorithm should be used when the changes that you're making are small, say 15% or less, and the T or the transcribe would be made for larger changes, uh, changes beyond that 15%. If we move then next past the Song Surgeon logo over here to these buttons, and you'll see sort of the standard fare of a pause, play, and stop button. And that's followed by this smaller button down here, which is a toggle button to uh, cause the song to repeat play or the audio file that's open to repeat play once it uh, gets to the end of the audio file. Next then we, in the center section, we encounter the volume button and it's simply a slider button. You grab a hold of it with your mouse and you can move it uh, in either direction, left or right. Following that is a progress indicator area which gives you the current position of the song. In this case it's zero seconds which means it hasn't started playing and um, the total length of the song, in this case again three minutes and eight tenths of a second. Then let's jump back down clear to the bottom and over here on the left again and we start in the uh, tempo area. So obviously you would use this area to adjust the tempo and we have a number of ways to do that. You have these presets down here, 75, 50, 40. You can see my mouse hovering over them. We have this slider which you can grab a hold of with your mouse and move and we have these plus and minus buttons which increases or decreases the, the tempo. And you can do this with a great amount of precision down to one one hundredth of a percent. The little button, the little button on the right over here is simply a reset button that resets the tempo back to 100 percent. Moving to the next area then, which would be the zooming area, we have the ability to again to use some presets here as well as to grab a hold of the slider and drag it. Keep in mind here that the units we're talking about are uh, seconds. So when we click all, it means that it shows the entire length of the song up here in the waveform window. If we click 20 seconds as an example, it will show 20 seconds uh, of the song up here in the waveform windows. The next area here is for pitch or key. And as with tempo, we have s the same type of adjustments. Preset buttons down here at the bottom, um, a slider, and plus or minus buttons. The presets use musical intervals. So for example, a musical third would be four half steps. And the toggle button down here is minus, so in this case it's moved it by a negative four half steps or reduced the key by four half steps. If you toggle this to plus, it will increase by four half steps. So that's how these presets work. We have a reset button over here which again resets everything to a zero pitch change and then the last thing that you need to know about this is that we're dealing with increments of half steps or semitones as they're called except when we use these fine adjustments over here and in, in these cases we're using um, cents and a cent is one one hundredth of a semitone so if you adjust this by a, a cent or a few cents you're not going to hear the difference you probably are not going to hear the difference until you start to approach something on the order of uh, a semitone. Lastly then, if we jump over here to the right hand side, we get into an area that is a loop control area and we have several buttons here that we need to tell you about. First is a start and an end button, which simply means that it sets the beginning or the starting end point of a loop and the end button sets the ending loop point. The delete button will obviously delete a loop area and the edit button actually opens up a second dialog window and it allows you to um, edit the settings for a particular loop. So let me just set a loop up here. Uh, 
We've got a loop set on the screen now. If we click the edit button, you'll see that it opens up this loop control area and in addition to being able to refine more precisely the starting and ending points and the pitch and the tempo, we've got something down here called a loop count as well as a delay and all these parameters can be adjusted for a loop so it allows you to customize every loop that you set up within Song Surgeon and again that can be multiple loops within a single song. Um, lastly, we have these uh, white buttons in the center section down here. And let's start up at the top with these um, arrows. These are jump to buttons, which simply means that if you click uh, the button that has the back arrow on it, it will jump to the beginning of the loop area that you are currently within. If you click the other button, which is the forward arrow, it will jump to the end of the loop area. So these top buttons work within a single loop. The bottom buttons actually jump between loops. So if I had a second, these bottom buttons then actually jump between loops. So for example, I put a second loop on the screen here so I can demonstrate this. If the progress indicator, this white line is here, and I click this button here, the first thing it's going to do is, is it's going to jump back to loop one. If I click this button, it's going to jump forward to loop two. So these buttons jump between loops, and the buttons at the top just jump within the existing loop, and that's the difference between these two. That concludes this second video, and it also concludes the overview portion of these training videos, which means that all of the subsequent videos that you'll find on this training video page are videos that go into much more detail about a specific functionality found in Song Surgeon. So we would encourage you strongly to watch the additional videos on this page. Thanks very much. Bye.